Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lincoln Journal Stars Four Downs. Luke Mullen and Amy Just here with you with another Nebraska football practice report. Uh, Huskers getting back to practice today here on Monday. Big week of preparation ahead, but of course, one of the big things after any win, going back, looking over the film from this recent win over UTEP. And of course, for head coach Matt Rule, that meant improvements. Uh, you mentioned tackling is one of those things he was looking at, but notably there on the film, of course, Dylan Riolo, the freshman quarterback, how he performed and Rule, he had some good things to say about the aggression that Raiola had and the way that he operated the offense. Yeah, good things. Um, what you want to see out of a you know, true freshman making his debut, obviously some communication things that they want to clean up, especially ahead of this week against Colorado, uh, but mostly positive things that he had to say publicly about it. Absolutely. And one of the nice things, too, from that win over UTEP was the ability to empty the bench uh, there in the third quarter there late on and then into the fourth. Uh, second and third string Huskers getting out there uh, at a variety of positions. We had about 10 to 12 guys, you know, at linebacker in the secondary, at wide receiver. And notably at that wide receiver spot, uh, one player who did not play on Saturday was Malachi Coleman. Uh, today, Rule asked about Coleman's status. Uh, he did share that perhaps Nebraska planning on a redshirt season for Coleman, uh, which does make some sense. You know, a guy who had a ton of potential. Everybody can see that, but you got Nair, you got Banks there at the outside wide receiver spots, and those guys are going to stay on the field. Yeah, and when you when you think about players, you have to think about not just what makes sense for this year, but what makes sense down the road. If you can use this year as a redshirt year for Malachi, he can you know fill in where those guys left off next year. Uh, I think that would be incredible for his development. Obviously, he's one of the most competitive guys we've ever met, so obviously he probably doesn't want a redshirt. He probably wants to play, but looking at the vision, I like the decision. Yeah, they, they want three more years mm -hmm. of a good, healthy Malachi Coleman. Uh, so, I mean, that's the plan right now. But as is the case with football, you never know. Injuries, plans change. Uh, but that is just an update for you. No Coleman. He was not out there on Saturday. Uh, that is what Nebraska is planning with him right now. But also there on Saturday, special teams. We've been talking about this a lot. Uh, the lack of a punt return game that Nebraska had in 2023. Improvements that they wanted to see out of the special teams unit. And Isaiah Garcia Castaneda. He returned punts. Ja'Cory Barney, he returned kicks. Real happy with the return game so far. Yeah, he kept. He said this multiple times today that Ja'Cory Barney was so close to breaking one off, and I, I thought he was going to get that one too. So good for him. Another true freshman um, that we need to keep our eyes on because he could have a very big game down the stretch. Absolutely. And so for all the talk about UTEP, all the good things that Nebraska did last Saturday, uh, all that has to go on the back burner this week. It is Colorado week here in Nebraska, and you can't see behind us, but on the big video screen behind us, there's a Colorado logo. There's a 1-0 record there for Nebraska. Uh, this team knows the stakes around this matchup coming in, uh, and they know it's going to be a big one. The atmosphere, Matt Rule saying he expects it to be a good one. He was talking up the personnel, quarterback Shadur Sanders, uh, wide receiver Travis Hunter, all the talent that this Colorado team has, uh, just a ton of excitement and Nebraska having to handle that challenge this week. Yeah. As of right now, uh, Nebraska, depending on your sport book, is a five to seven point favorite. I wonder how much the line's going to change this week. Um, it's going to be intense. Uh, Nebraska lost last year because of the turnovers. Does that play a factor this week? Nebraska was positive in the turnover margin last week. Um, but yeah, we'll see. It's going to be insane. Yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have plenty more time, of course, to to dive into this matchup. But the bottom line: a ton of national attention, a uh, big big game for both programs for the scope of their season. Even if it does come early in week two, so of course we'll talk to players, we'll hear more from the coaches throughout this week, and we'll have more updates to share with you here on JournalStar.com. But that'll do it for today's four downs. We'll see you next week.